everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the 10 week update of the 12 Pants of Christmas project. Um, if you've never seen one of these videos, basically what I do is back in September I chose 12 items that I wanted to use up or pan by December 25th. And every two weeks I've been going through and updating you on the progress of those items. So what I'm going to do today is show you the progress since the last update, which was eight weeks. Um, but before I do that, I just want to go over two things really quickly that are kind of related. The first one is that for four or five days of the last two weeks, I've been getting a lot of really bad migraines, so the last thing that I've been wanting to do is put on makeup. So items that I wear every day, like foundation, the micellar cleansing water, the lip balm that I use, those are definitely going to have less progress, but they still do have some progress, so I didn't think it wasn't a good idea to still go over everything this update. Um, and the second thing is sort of along those same lines, yesterday I wasn't feeling very well, so I didn't have a chance to film, so this video is going up about a day or two later than it normally would, but I haven't touched the products since I would have filmed it, so it's still all very accurate. But without further ado, let's get into the progress. First, I'm gonna go over the items that I actually have finished up in the past 10 weeks. So we'll start with my two pocket backs. And basically, I have four of these in the project and I wanna use up all four of them. And the first two that I finished were Pink Crazy Daisy. And you can hopefully see the lines. Just, I started here and then it took me about two, two and a half updates to finish it. And then the other one, I started here after I finished this one, and this is Creamy Pumpkin. I started here and it basically took me one update to finish. For the pocket backs, I will just use these every morning before I put on makeup, um, just so that my hands are clean and I'm not putting any like gross nastiness on my face. But these are my two pocket backs and I'll go over the progress of the other two in just a moment. The next item that I have is the Jergens BB Body Cream and this is just something that I would put on my arms just to make them smooth because I get a lot of like texture on my arms. Um, this had an interesting scent to it I would say. I don't really know what to place it as but it definitely has a fragrance to it. Um, but basically this took me three or four updates to finish up um, but it's finally out of my collection. The next one that I have, which I am definitely saying is done, is the Urban Decay De-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Um, basically, this is a one ounce travel size, and I went from here to here in the first update, and I used it really quickly. Then, after that first update, I got to here, and then, basically, I haven't been able to get anything else out, and then last week I was trying to spray stuff again, and it just... I don't know whether it's stuck up there or it really won't reach, but I'm just calling this done at this point. I'm okay with letting the remaining amount that's like probably this much, like I'm I'm okay with letting that go. So my Urban Decay D Slick is officially done. Next, I finished up a Maybelline Baby Lips. Um, this is just a nice little tinted chapstick. There's just the little applicator in here. It's all used up. And this I would just use at night before I went to bed. It's a nice chapstick, nothing special. <laughs> and last but not least are my soft cotton cleansing pads from Big Lots. And I have been using these with the Simple Micellar Water, which I'll show you the progress of in just a moment. But basically I would use these with the cleansing water to uh, just remove any makeup that I had on my hands, like swatches and like foundation stuff. So those are my finished products. Now I'll go on to the makeup and skincare that I haven't finished yet. So the one and only makeup item that I have in this project is the Garnier BB Cream. And what I was originally doing was mixing it with my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation and I wanted to get through 50% of each of these. Then when this became too dark as a combo, I started bringing in my uh, Revlon Color Stay and mixing in one of these like every other day. And then as of last update, this was just too thick and dark to mix in with this as well. So I am calling this done, um, sort of default, and that's as far as I got. Now what I'm doing is I'm mixing together the BB cream and the Revlon Color Stay, and I'm really liking how this is going. Um, I finally drew on this one, and basically how I'm going to mark the progress of this is however far down I can get 
this to go. So like as of today it sits the farthest down that it will go is down here. Um, there's still product on the sides of the tube but that's as far down as it will go. So yeah so I have been mixing it except for today I'm actually using a sample of the Tarte Amazonian full coverage foundation but for the past two weeks I have been mixing these two together and I'm still loving it. The next item that I've been working on is the e.l.f. tinted lip balm in grapefruit. I'll just show you the progress really quick. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell because I don't know if the light's gonna hit it properly but in the center when I hold it up to the light I can actually see a um, like a little lighter spot in the middle so I think if I had been using this more regularly in the past two weeks I would actually have pan on this um, it's getting really close to that but yeah I just use this every morning after I put on the um, hand sanitizer. I will just put this on so that by the time that I'm ready to put on actual lipstick, my lips are nice and moisturized and it's a great way to use up a lip balm. So that is the progress on my e.l.f. tinted lip balm. The next item that hasn't been getting too much progress over the past two weeks is my Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. And this is the item that I use with cotton pads. Um, basically, I will squirt it onto the cotton pad and just use it to remove any excess foundation that I put onto my hand or any extra swatches or something. This is what I'll use. Um, I don't really like it for removing makeup off of my face, which is what it's originally intended for, which is why I'm using it this way and trying to get it out of my collection. But as you can see, this is where I am at the moment. I didn't use a lot these past two weeks, but I did use it some. Um, again, I'm just really happy. There's like a fifth of the product left. So hopefully this will be gone by next update and I would be very surprised if it wasn't gone in two updates. So yeah, that is my micellar cleansing water. Next I'm going to go through all the lotions that I have in the project. The first one is the Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Lotion. Um, this is just a really nourishing hand cream and I'll use it on my hands but I'll also sometimes use it on my arms or all the way down my legs and that'll use it up even more. I really love these. If you have really dry hands in the winter, this is great. And of course Bath & Body Works has great scents. But um, yeah, I'll show you the progress. So as you can see, this is where I was last time and this is where I am now. That's pretty good in my book. Um, I don't use this every night and I don't even use it every other night. I just use it when I remember to, but every time that I do, I really like it. So I'm happy to see some progress and this should be gone in the next two to four weeks if I really focus on it. So the next lotion that I'm going to talk about, I was keeping at work and now I've decided I'm just going to keep it at home because not only am I running low on the hand lotion that I was keeping at home, but when I keep this one at work, I don't find myself using the other one. So I want to make sure that they both get use. So the one that I'm talking about is the Honey Crisp Apple and Buttered Rum Orchard Lotion. And I love how this smells and it's super nice. I just don't want the other one not to get used. So I'll show you the progress. As you can see, I made a little bit more progress these past two weeks. It's not awesome, but I did use it. I didn't feel like using the lotion a huge amount this week so i didn't um but i did use it a little bit obviously and yeah it's a great lotion i really like how it smells and i'm excited to start using it at home and the last lotion that i have is the aveeno daily moisturizing lotion and this is just one that i use at work and i was using it in conjunction with the honey crisp apple one but like I said, I haven't found myself using it really at all if the other one's there. So I really want to make a point to focus on this one. So I finally have put a line on this, as you can see. Um, again, I don't like this at all. And I actually realized that it has a hard expiration on it. And it expired almost 12 months ago. <laughs> so that's probably why I don't like this. I'm going to try my hardest to use this and I may end up stopping using it, but I may power through and just whatever I get through for the end of this project, then it'll get thrown out. I don't know, I'll keep you guys posted. I don't know, I don't really like this. It's just, I, I'm trying, I'm trying here. <laughs> Next I'm going to talk about the remaining two pocket backs in the project and that is Winter Candy Apple which I've been using at home. Um, 
in the same way that I used the other ones before I put on makeup. And then I also have One Hot Mom, which is the one that I keep at work for after I go to the bathroom if there's no soap. So I didn't really use this one a lot at all, but again, I do use it at work, so I use it less. Um, but even so, it's super close to being done, and if I just make a point to use it after I use the bathroom, even if I, say, have washed my hands with soap, this will be gone really quickly. And then the other one, Winter Candy Apple, I don't have as much progress, again, because this is the one that I use when I'm at home and I use it before I put on makeup and I haven't worn makeup so this one definitely doesn't have as much progress as it usually would for two weeks but I know if I start wearing makeup at a regular pace then this will be totally fine and it will be done within maybe within the next update but definitely like a few days after the next update if not the next update sorry if that's really confusing this should be done very very quickly <laughs> I have two cleansing products basically. The first one is the Glam Glow White Packaging Super Mud um, and this is just basically a clay based uh, mask for your face that draws out a lot of impurities and like dirt and oil and stuff and it's awesome. So I used it these past two weeks and I actually decided to push all of the stuff up onto one side so that we can really start to see progress because there was actual like pan or jar showing last time. So this is where I'm at now. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm sad that this will be going soon, but I have been using it and that's always good. Another cleansing product that I have is the oil-free acne wash pink grapefruit foaming scrub from Neutrogena. This is just basically one of those face scrubs that has microbeads in it and I will use it on my chest and on my arms and on my face um, multiple times a week. Um, just in the shower and I have finally figured out why the progress has been slowing on this. My dad, Mr. Sciencey Smart Man, um, basically explained to me that the reason why that is happening is that just the amount of the area and the space of the bottom of this bottle, it's just bigger than the rest of it. So it will slow on progress. Um, because, and it was confusing me because I literally used this more times in the past two weeks than I have in any of the other times between updates. And as you can see, there's literally almost no progress, but that just has to do with the fact that the bottle is sloping in such a way that there's less, there's more surface area for it to sit on. So it's not gonna go as quickly. So this should, be used up by the end of the project, but the progress is definitely gonna be a lot slower. But I'll show you the progress in any case. All right, so yeah, so as you can see, there's a very little amount of progress in between this update and last update, but there is progress. And like I said, I use this like every three days, sometimes every other day. So I'm definitely using it. Um, you guys are just gonna have to believe me, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that is the progress on my Neutrogena scrub. And the last product that I have to show is the Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser from Neutrogena, which just has my little travel size companion with it. And this is what I use to clean my brushes. Um, basically, what I've been doing is I squirt pretty much this much full of the product so that I can squirt it out more controlled so that I can clean my brushes better. And then what I'll do is basically I started here and I went through an entire entire bottle's worth and that's where the product inside of this bottle sits now and basically once I go through another bottle of this I will um, refill the bottle and hopefully have only one more bottle's worth left. So as you can see, I believe I only used it once, but this is as much as I got through. Um, I like how this stuff works, although I'm starting to notice that there's a slight scent on the brushes when I use it, so I'm not sure if this is going bad or if it's just that I've never noticed the smell of the cleanser with the makeup. Um, it's not super pleasant, but it does clean my brushes really well. So I'll keep you guys updated on whether I think this has gone bad or not, but that is the progress. 
So that is the 10 week update of the 12 Pins of Christmas project. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I'm sorry that this is going up a day or two late. I really like to be on top of this but something has been going on. I don't know if it's just how cold it's been getting or if it's my allergies or what but something is going on with these migraines. I hope that I'm gonna get to the bottom of them soon so that it doesn't impact these videos or work or anything else. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys later.